Wait the fuck up, samurai. We have a city to burn. Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about the infamous Cyberpunk. And wow, what a shit game this really is. Take it away. It's not a shit game. Um, okay, let me start. This game is a great game. Had too much beers. It's too much beers. Too much beers. This game too is much a, of the beers. Shut up. This game is awesome. Why? Because it's fucking massive. It was a massive dump. It's very promising, got lots of awards, but it doesn't work. It doesn't run on PS4, it sucks on Xbox, and it even doesn't work on computer. I mean, look at this. This is a graphics card. If you want to run this game uh, in all its glory, you're going to need a $1,500 one of these and a seven or $800 little microchip called a computer processing unit to run the goddamn game. So you need $2,000 of upgrades to Basically, your you need just a to play this game in full settings. Hello? I've played fucking games that were half as big as this, like for example, Last of Us, and that game looks amazing. And it has no issues running on PS4, absolutely none. And you can play Last of Us on a medium computer, yet you can't play this game, which looks like shit, by the way, on a fucking high-end computer. Why? Well, you definitely- And need here they are, like, <coughs> build, building the game for 11 years, and then they release it, everyone complains, rightfully so, they issue an apology, which we'll read, and then they go, oh yeah, just give us a week, and we'll fix everything. And then all of us are here going, well, what the fuck? Why didn't you just take that week and figure it out? You released a game that doesn't even work. And it's been already pushed back since the spring. I love this game, I want to play it, I can't wait to play it, but right now it sucks. Sorry for ranting, take it away. Oh, well like I was saying, it just you need a high-end PC, a $5,000 high-end PC, and it might work. Now the yeah. game on Cyberpunk on PlayStation, on base PlayStation 4 console and Xbox One is beyond broken. You, you don't even reach 1080p frame rate. Yeah. You're like, you're playing 1080p with mixed frames. If you want to play on high and ultra, you're getting like 20 FPS drops. Textures don't all render. All the time. Textures don't render. Yeah. There's glitches. There's shit happening. There's no one walking around. Look at this photo. Right here. We'll put it on the big screen. There's supposed to be hundreds of people walking around. Like in around a metropolis. In cars, millions of people. And there's yeah. like three people walking around in two cars, and the car is buggy as shit. Yeah, and the car's doing yeah. flips and crashing. Like, how what the fuck? You see, I understand. This is Project CD. This is uh, CD Project Red's most ambitious game ever. And I would argue this is the most ambitious game to date in the history of planet yeah. Earth. And Night City is supposed to be a giant sprawl of a metropolis. Million, it's supposed to be Grand Theft Auto meets Blade Runner, and it's it's it takes a lot of power. And I think they're gonna make a PlayStation 5 does offer backwards capability, so when you run it on PlayStation 5, it's supposed to run a bit smoother. But as but the problem is, the majority of people own last gen consoles. The majority of people own base PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Why? Because you, the, you can't make the argument and say, you just need to upgrade to a new PC and next console. That's not an argument, man. Because yeah. no one can find a PlayStation 5 and the average motherfucker can't get a high-end PC. He has a high-end PC. But the average, my, my high-end PC is, well, it used to be a high-end PC. It's about four years old now. So outdated. Yeah. Dude, my computer, I just built a new computer a couple weeks ago. It costs around $2,000 Canadian, a bit more Canadian. And I can play Cyberpunk. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, but according to the, uh, the um, recommended specs mm -hmm. and what people have tested already, I will be able to run this game on medium to high with low end, with low uh, ray tracing, even with DLSS enabled. What the fuck? I spent two grand on a computer that runs CSGO at 350 FPS, and I can't even run Cyberpunk on high with low ray tracing? You have a powerful rig too, so... I mean, like... Like, uh, for fuck's sake, I mean, have you seen De uh, Seven Days to Die? Seven Days to Die looks like dog poop. <laughs> and yet, 
I can't run that game very good. So how- They have not optimized it. Sorry for interrupting. Oh, but how has uh, CD Projekt Red responded? Well, they have apologized and they're releasing uh, several patches to at least make the PlayStation 4 version playable, which at this point it is playable, but it's an ugly, buggy mess. So here's yeah. a story by Eurogamer. Cyberpunk released uh, Thursday with a bubby launch. <laughs> with a bumpy launch. A bubby launch? Jesus. Yeah. So they say, we would like to start by apologizing to you for not showing the game on base last gen consoles before it premiered. And in consequence, not allowing you to make more of an informed decision about your purchase, the statement said. We should have paid more attention to making it a better play on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So they've only showed compute like PC footage. I, I suspect you know, obviously because the PS4 version runs like shit, you know? Well, yeah, they probably have a $7,000 computer running like, I have no idea what, they, what their specs well, are. It's like probably a 10000 they computer. And then they probably pre-rendered a few scenes, like five times, and <clears> then played it back and then released that in the trailer. Like for fuck's sakes, you design it for PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 comes out, you redesign it for then, you push it back yeah. a thousand times, PS5 comes out, and you up the game, and it doesn't even work on PS4. Like, imagine trying to play this on PS3. I just want to say, when they, announced, five seconds. when they announced Cyberpunk, we were in high school. Yeah. <laughs> How the fuck does a game take this long to make, and it sucks? But on that note... What are you doing? I got some breaking news. Breaking news! I'm gonna use my old time radio voice! Now, as I was saying before, last video we raided chicks. Now we have to add another woman on our list. Two tens, twins by the way. God was so nice he made twice. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the Fion twins, so nice. So I would, nice. I would say they are tens, good sir. Yes. God is with us. He has blessed us with two twins that are tens. I agree. The world would be a better place if we had more Fion sisters and every man... I'm getting... It's getting, <laughs> it's getting kind of creepy now. I'm just saying, if... Out of my newsy voice, if every man was dating a Fion sister, we'd have less war, there'd be less envy, and... Oh, how can you say that? It's sexist! No, they're the hottest pieces of ass I have ever seen in my life. And I just, we have to put that in because our last video we were rating women and we didn't put them in. And then I saw him and I called him up and said, dear Lord, we found two tens. Twins. Yeah. All right. And now back, back to, to the video. What? Back to Cyberpunk. Back to Cyberpunk. All right. All right. So what do we got here? Uh, I've just been doing nothing but fucking complaining. Uh, and sorry for that, by the way. Uh, but as you know, Cyberpunk is hot in the news right now. It's bigger than guns. It's bigger than cigarettes. It's bigger, than, the bigger than BLM, the presidency, Antifa, <laughs> literally trumps the news. This game is long awaited for, so much ambition, everyone's excited. Honestly, I remember, I remember being excited for this like a year ago. I'm like, fuck yeah, I can't wait till Cyberpunk comes out. I really want to play, it looks really cool. It's like Fallout and GTA and all like the best games in one, and it sucks. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but if you really want to enjoy Cyberpunk, consider getting a Stadia. I mean, yes, that's right. Cloud gaming. You got Stadia. You got no Shadow storage Play. space. Yeah. And if you want, like, I'm I'm considering. I like I have a high end PC too, but uh, Cyberpunk for me was a console game. I want to play it on console. And they're gonna come out with a Cyberpunk PlayStation Five version that's fully optimized for the PlayStation Five, and it's gonna run better because it's it's gonna be made for the PS Five. Yeah. You like I said, for the time being, you can put Cyberpunk in your PS Five, and it you know. It it's works. 2020 tech, right? It so it's gonna run it smoother, right? But you can't get a PlayStation 5 right now. Yeah, what the fuck is with that, by the way? Why are there no stock in PS5s? I don't know. We're literally like going through a famine of sorts right now, or we're like a recession. I, yeah. Like, there's nothing available. They're also offering uh, CD Projekt Red is also offering refunds. Uh, PlayStation Store is offering refunds, but I. It's a bit of a, a rigorous process to get a refund. Now, if you buy your game from Best Buy or GameStop, I mean, well, you're probably shit out of luck. Yeah. But, it, and they've apologized, so it's it's a start. Like I said, a lot of people just whipped out 80 bucks and gave it to CD Projekt Red because, I, in terms of being a, a game developer, I trust them. You know what I yeah. mean? This is something yeah. EA would do. So people, if you if, if people can trust you, and they trust your word. And like I said, the CEO, um, before the launch, 
said the game runs surprisingly well on consoles, last gen consoles. So that was a bla that was a, a straight up lie. Yeah. But like I said, it's it's a start. They're apologizing. They're offering refunds. Yeah. And that you, you know you want to you know cater to your fan base. You know your customer base really, right? So um, like I said, your best bet get a Stadia. If you can't afford a high-end PC, wait it out a bit. They're gonna come out with several patches that's gonna fix key problems in the the console versions. Yeah. Or better yet, wait till PS5, wait till the PS5 version comes out and it's gonna be fully optimized to play on, you know, next gen hardware. Yeah. Can I get a word in here? So yeah, we're talking we should have <laughs> we should have said this in the beginning. Um, if you don't have a four thousand dollar computer or a PS5 or even an Xbox One X or Series X and all that new stuff, then yes, you should consider cloud gaming. There's Stadia and there's Shadow Play or Shadow PC, I forget what it is. And then there's mm -hmm. another one, which I forget, but these things are, are cloud gaming. So your computer doesn't actually run and play the game. It's done elsewhere and it's streamed to you. So even if you have a $200 laptop that you use for school with a 13 inch screen, you can play Cyberpunk or any game for that matter, whatever's on their thing. And I think Shadow Play is uh, run from Steam. I don't really, I don't know too <laughs> it much. It runs so, so bad on consoles. Can, it should be called Cyberpunk 1977. Like, yeah, you can have, <laughs> like if you like Steam, you can have a Steam game and use Shadow Play. I think that's how it works. Cyberpunk uh, 1977. Know. Yeah, but definitely consider cloud gaming, uh, if, even if you want to play other games. I can't believe I'm endorsing Stadia. But yeah, I, I might sound like a hater of Cyberpunk and the whole Project Red team, but I'm excited. I have faith in them. I have faith that this game is going to come out and it's going to look beautiful uh, in the near future, hopefully. It's funny because... And uh, it's going to be game of the year and everyone's going to love it and it's not going to flunk. Cyberpunk, the universe is about, you know, corporate power and greed and stuff like that, right? It's kind of funny that they were pushed to release this game out for corporate greed. I mean, you got to appease your shareholders, right? What do you and mean? Well, I mean, I mean, there's they were pushed to release the game out from oh, people yeah, wanting yeah. to buy the product and stuff like that, and they had to turn a profit. So we're basically in the cyberpunk universe for poor profit. But uh, on yeah. that note, we're gonna we're gonna take off. But like I said before, if you watched our videos and you like our videos, please hit that subscribe button. It makes him feel happy. What are you doing? The shadow is looks retarded. Look at look at. Oh Jesus! All right. Breaking news. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Goodbye, Goodbye. and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have faith in cyberpunk or you want to talk about it, leave it in the comments below. And I'm talking really fast. Goodbye. That's not how you do it.